I'm sorry. No, no, it was my fault. You don't remember me, do you? Oh, you're Dave's friend. Yeah, Dennis. Right. Isn't this a great party? Yeah, it's the best party I've been to all year. It's the only party I've been to all year. I'm sorry, what? It's the only party I've been to all year. Oh, is this your first year? Yeah, how about you? No, I'm a sophomore. So, uh, you want to dance? No, I have to leave soon. Can I get you another drink? No, I have to work in the morning. Oh, really? Where do you work? At a health food store. The Flying Monkey. Oh, I know that. That's uh, right down by campus. That's it. I need the money. I know what you mean. Well, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, see you around. Hi. Hi. Dennis. Yeah. Still need somebody here? Uh, that depends. Yeah? Do you mind sweeping? Not at all. How about cleaning bins? Oh, I love it. Well, you'll have to work weekdays, weekends, and holidays. You know, I've been spending way too much time in class anyway. What do you think? Do I got the job? I'm sorry. You can't. Why not? Because I don't do the hiring around here. Listen, Kim, I really need this job. It's the only way I'm going to keep my grandfather and me at Simpson. Your grandfather? Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but uh, my grandfather and me are working our way through college. And normally we have enough for the apartment, but tuition was so high, and then we had to buy books, and then we had to get a motorcycle. So are you we... making all this up right now? No, it's the truth, I swear. Look, the manager's name is Zook. I'll tell him you need a job. You tell him the part about your grandfather. Great. Thanks, Kim. I really appreciate it. So you got a customer? No, that's just Butch. He works in the back with Zook. They run some other kind of business back there. So, uh, what's the pay? Not that I'm really interested, just curious. Minimum. Minimum's okay. Very minimum. Mel! Hey, Jody, how are you? Fancy meeting you here. You gonna introduce me to your girlfriend? Yeah, this is my friend, Kim. This is my grandfather, Mel. You're his grandfather. Well, that's what they told me when I woke up in the delivery room. <laughs> Nancy, this is Kim, Jody. Jody? Yeah, he calls me that. I'll explain later. Well, there's no sense in the four of us standing around here kibitzing. Why don't we count the ties over to the speakeasy? You know, check out the scene at the grad. Hubba hubba. <laughs> you have your lunch yet? Yeah, raisin bread. Catching it. Terrible. I think I'll have a BOT <laughs> down and tell him to hold the mail. Melvin Adler, the senior freshman, takes 15 hours in history, English, math, economics, and biology. His goal, as Mel puts it, is to go to a school where the buildings are older than he is. <laughs> <laughs> he lives off campus in a small apartment above the Grad's restaurant. Grandson Dennis, who also attends Simpson. Mel is a remarkable man. He believes being retired is being tired twice. <laughs> the first time you're tired of working, and the second you're tired of not working. <laughs> he has a lot to be proud of, and Simpson is proud of him. Yeah. I left out what I said about Sigmar. Hey, Melly, thanks a lot for mentioning the place. You hear that, everyone? Beer on the house! Yeah! Oh, thanks, sweetie. How you doing? I'll tell you, I'm sick and tired of this place. Three o'clock every morning, they wake me up, give me a sleeping pill, and take my temperature. No matter what I order for breakfast, I get lime jello. What does the doctor say? He says I'm under irritation. How long's he been here? All night. Nurse couldn't wake him up. I told her to take his temperature the hard way. I talked to a few of his friends. Jody's cutting all his classes. Dumb kid. Spending all his time reading to me so I don't fall behind. You're doing all right. I'm doing fine. All the kids from all my classes have helped me out. Does he know that? Sure. Stubborn kid. He needs somebody to straighten him out. Well, if you can't, who can? I was hoping maybe you'd give it a shot. Me? 
Yes, he likes you. I don't know, Mel. Please, sweetie. He needs someone to take care of him. I need someone to take care of him. I'll try. Thank you. Very much. Hey, Jody! Wait up. Hi. Hi. Can you walk me to the dorm? Sure. So how are classes? I am so far behind. I don't think I'll graduate till I'm Mel's age. You know, Steve Martin's at the auditorium tonight. Oh, really? I can get us two tickets. I can't. Why not? I gotta take care of Mel. I think Mel can take care of himself. <sighs> Who's be there to make him dinner? Jody, one night. Give yourself a break. Look, Kim, thanks a lot, but no thanks. I gotta go, all right? Look, what is your problem? Uh, I gotta go. Will you stop? Kim, don't you understand? I started believing that Mel was just like everyone else at school. He's got a great act, but really, he's just an old man. I'm surprised he's not crippled now because I was so stupid to bring him here. And you think devoting your life to him will fix everything? Let me tell you something. You're not the only one who cares about him, you know. And if you'd stop feeling guilty long enough, you'd see just how many people really want to help Mel. <laughs> 